set. Maybe like that. Do any of you love sprite animations? I love sprites. I love sprites. Figure it out with save states? Uh, I actually do not have save states. That was your experience with the ending to that level? Yeah. You second tried it so you didn't develop a strap. Right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. False advertising. I mean, I'm still gonna try. I don't want to. I don't want to not try and be four minutes behind on level three. What's the hardest hack right now? I don't know. Responsible world. Search for salmon. Take your pick. It certainly isn't Grand Poor World. It's not going to be Grand Poor World 2. And it's definitely not Kaizo 3. So. I think that the best thing for the community is, in my opinion, is to move away from trying to make and pump up the hardest things ever, and then start talking about creative, interesting, innovative, you know, quality. Because most of the hardest hacks out there, like Responsible World, if you've never seen Responsible World, it's just a sack of shit, man. It just sucks. It's just, it's just ass. Like, yeah, it's the hardest. So why don't people play it? It's because it fucking sucks, bro. Oh, I, I wanted to go for that. Should have gone for that. You're being beaten hyper six. I, I just think I just I just think we need to change the conversation about what's the hardest. About from what's the hardest and what's like the most innovative. What what does something different, you know? That's what I try to talk about. Are they doing what in the weekly blind race? I think the weekly blind races are awesome. I wish I could take part. Um, I'm, I'm just waiting for them to release all the levels at once in like that pack, so I can play them all at that at once. That'd be like playing like a whole new ROM hack for me. And by then, I'll have forgotten all the levels, too. You want to get in this pipe? <laughs> What's the best hack that isn't too hard or too easy? Well, I mean, that's that's all subjective. So, you're going to get a different answer from, like, from me and Dode and Link Dead and, you know, Osu and Valdio and Laser Belts. You're going to get different answers from everybody. Great beginner hacks. I mean, there's tons of hacks in Super Mario World Central, you know? Like, the world is your oyster. Go fuck around and play them. Grand Poor World's too easy. I mean, Grand Poor World 2 basically plays itself, so... We all knew this. Come on. Why, what's so hard about that? Just do that. Alright, finally, dude. Alright. <laughs> Damn it. Please provide an objective answer to a bunch of subjective questions. Thanks. Anytime. Anything for you, Slash. <laughs> Sla slash says, uh... Slash says jump, and I say how high. <laughs> What level in Dram do I think is a difficulty check? It's the the gateway in Dram is level three. And the gateway in Dram is literally one jump. And if you can do that one jump and beat that level, then you're fine. It's a really stupid shell jump in level three. Uh oh shit, I fucking hate when I do that. There we go. Uh Vicrex, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Shit! I even I killed myself anyway. Uh thank you, Vicrex. Oh, welcome, dude. I'm try. I'll try smoke. 
I haven't been practicing much, so it's unlikely that I'll be able to get a good time. Maybe when I, uh, whenever I finish the hack I've been making, maybe when I finish it, then I'll be in, in good shape to really lower my time in this game. Oh, well, thank you, Vicrex. I appreciate that. Are Waldens required for Responsible World? I don't think so. Responsible World just has, like, really shitty, tedious, annoying levels that look like shit. Who has a world record in, in Grand Pool World 1? Uh, Laser Belch in all categories. No! Why didn't he jump? I was, like, I was fucking ten dicks above his head. Why didn't he jump? Yeah, Jada Grotto is rough. After that, it's uh, House of Dram's Cat is rough, too. Those are the two levels where people get really stuck. All of a sudden, man. All of a sudden. <laughs> What's up, hero? I, I'm, I'm having a tough time manipulating this Chuck here. Alright, Ultra Star 3.0 took you the longest. I don't know what level took me the longest in Dram 1. I don't remember. Alright, 12 hours. I don't think any level in Dram One took me over uh, took me over ten hours. I also played um, I played Dram One after I'd already played a shitload of Kaizo One, so that kind of prepared me a bit for it. I just nothing ever goes right in level three for me. I don't know why. Are there gonna be poo references in Grand Portal Two? No, there's no references to anybody ever. There's there's actually there's actually I'm gonna be patching out. All forms of fun from Grand Pool World 2. There will be no fun in it, ever. Well, that sucked. <laughs> Thank God I'm tired of fun. Spoilers. <laughs> And now it's just Grand World. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like, any any of the references, you might think, like, Put a stomp level, Barb! Somebody just, somebody, like, already did that shit. You know? All the, all the memes that you can even reference, somebody, somebody already did that, so. Kinda sucks. One, two, buckle my shoe. Alright. Yep. Grand Pool do nothing to see here. Are there objectively ideas that haven't been tried in vanilla Kaiser hack? Uh I don't know. Happy birthday, Yo. Barb. Hope it's a real banger. Uh, Lawai, thank you so much for the sub and the birthday wishes. I just turned 12 years old, guys. Can you believe it? This is a cool level with a door. That sucks. Why do I kill myself there? Because sometimes when I'm in the sub world, uh, and I've, I'm one-shotting the level, which I do often, uh, the, you have to let go of jump to fall through the hole and then land on the boo block. And if I haven't died from the midway, sometimes the boo block just crushes me. So my theory is that by doing the level in one shot, the positioning of the boo block is moved very slightly. 
and that kills you. So by dying there, I uh, reset that blue block. A similar thing happens in Dram 1. Yeah, that's what I think it is too, Osu. And when I, whenever I kill myself, it doesn't happen to me, so... It is not actually my birthday. And I'm also not 12 years old. <laughs> my birthday is in June. And I'm 11 years old. <laughs> the Twitch ban hammer is coming for me. <laughs> now people know people know people know my first name. See, nobody knows Aura's first name. Nobody knows his birthday, right? My birthday's in June. My first name is Chris. You guys know that. <laughs> I just started pro uh, producing testosterone, yeah. Oh, God. This level just goes awful. It's not Wajan. I don't remember how that fucking started. <laughs> I don't remember how Wajan started. First name is not Barb, yeah. That happened to somebody else I know, Osu. He was joking that he was 12 years old and there was like a... There was a... Oh, God. There was a Twitch staff in the chat, so they timed that person out. You're devastated. I should change my Twitch name to just Barb. I should just do that. Holy shit! I fucking hate Boo Rings. Freaking Hot loves this. Loves loves to have you jump through Boo Rings where there's no way to jump through them. <laughs> he loves it. He thinks it's the coolest thing ever. He's got the same jump in the the ghost water level. He thinks it's the cat's pajamas. It is not the cat's pajamas. It is annoying as shit. Being 12 must be hard. When I was 12, I didn't, we didn't, I didn't have the internet. So. There was no internet. This is Jamal. I love this door a whole bunch. It is the coolest door I've ever seen. <laughs> you had shitty internet? Well, we didn't have the internet, at least. I'll put it that way. I really just want to reset or play Street Fighter. <laughs> I want to get in this door if I'm going to reset. Al Gore was hiding the internet. Oh my god, this level is driving me nuts. I'm just like, I've, I've, I have no patience, I've like lost patience with this level and now it's just annoying me. If you lose, if you lose patience in a Kaizo game, it's, it's over. I can't do this jump. I can't do this jump. I cannot do it. Barbie bad buns. <laughs> All right, let's go die at the door. See, that's what happens right there, but now it happened to me anyway. 
Like, I don't know. This level annoys me. I'm trying to get in this fucking door, man. <sighs> okay. Sure. Oh, I got in the door. And we're only six minutes behind. I have one to keep going. Just for- just because fuck it. Have mercy. I could- I could very easily still PB. Honda, will you ever play The Last Guardian? It's known as the sequel to Shadow of the Colossus. Is it actually a sequel to Shadow of the Colossus, though? Uh, thank you for 100 bits. Or is it just that's just what people call it? Also, did you just call me Honda? Alright. Dude, see? That's why I go for the dude. You can't do that, man. That's why this level fucking sucks. <laughs> that ending is so stupid with that pokey there. It doesn't work, man. You can't YOLO right. That's why I always waited for the dude. But then sometimes you don't get the dude. That was gonna be a one-shot of this level. The dude does not abide. At least now I have proof that that just doesn't work. At least now I know for a fact. You can't just YOLO right. Because it depends on when, where you move the screen. And where you spawn the uh, Koopas. Nice lag there. What a bullshit, man. What a bunch of bullshit. Well, now I know. I'm not even going to fucking go for that. Now I know. Threw away a gold split for nada. Cool. I should I I think I should run off and hold jump instead of jump in that hole. The doe does not abode. Yeah. Oh, come on, man. What's up, Elusive? Um... Uh -huh. 
No! Why? That's such a dumb death. Such a dumb death. <laughs> it's a two tile hole and I'm a one tile man. <laughs> that's Dode's, that's Dode's hit country song. I'm a two, I'm a one tile man in a two tile hole. <laughs> I can like hear that whole song. Orb. Can you turbo spin jump up there? What is the turbo spin jump? Past couple of runs, uh, this fight has been trolling the ever-loving shit out of me. <laughs> Save three seconds. You main dude somebody somebody last night somebody last night typed the like the dumbest thing I'd ever seen ever. <laughs> it was I was playing Halo and the dude said I I main what did he say? I main arbiter with dual needlers. <laughs> it 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 both makes me laugh and it infuriates me at the same time. Yeah, that's that's what it was. That was really close. <laughs> like, come on, man. I also main arbiter with dual needlers. I main I main master chief with one health and a plasma pistol with twenty energy left. <laughs> that's my main. Kimbo, Shotties, and Martyrdom. <laughs> Am I amazed how short a level is when it takes you two minutes to two hours the first time? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not so much in this game. Shotgun. I mean, I mean, Rocket Flood. <laughs> If I could only play one ROM hack, I don't have to make that choice though, because that's a dumb choice. With the point blank range actions. Dude, that, that one section last night where there was like, they take away your shields and then they send in 40 flood and then the flood also have, there was like three rocket flood with them. That was like the worst. That was the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> the jump is weirdly hard. Okay. Yump? No. I don't know. That's that. That's the great thing about ROM hacks is that they are diverse. And there's all different kinds of ROM hacks to play, and 
Like, in the future, I'm excited to play ROM hacks by, like, people I both know. Like, I'm sure, like, Eldad's probably gonna someday make a hack and finish it. And freaking Ha will make more hacks and stuff. And Chris G and Panga will make hacks and stuff. Like, that's exciting. That's awesome. You know? If I had to limit myself to one hack, I wouldn't like hacks. I know, I know. That was the funniest shit you see. Dude, Halo Legendary just... It's... It's a cruel... It's a cruel, unforgiving universe in Halo... In Halo 1 Legendary. Whatever ever play a new suit pack? Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of new suit mechanics, but... I'm not necessarily... Like, I love SMB3, but... You know. I play SMB3 hacks and stuff, so... I don't know. I pressed swim too soon. I couldn't get under the pencil. No, Halo Halo Legendary is the difficulty setting. It is the hardest difficulty for for the Halo games. It's like Call of Duty Veteran. Which I actually kind of think like after I finish Halo Legendary, maybe I'll go back and do like I'll maybe I'll start with like Call of Duty 2 Legend or Veteran or something. <laughs> That could be fun. I don't know. Dude, I always do that. Oh. It's like I don't know whether I should go left or right. How did I learn to shell jump? Uh, I learned to shell jump by doing it a whole bunch. Just did it a lot. Just remember I played Mario Maker for a long time before I even played a single SMW hack. So... For me... Mario Maker shell jumps are actually way harder than uh, SMW shell jumps. So, once you figure out the timing, they're actually much easier. Bro, I was holding down. Why did I get... Do you guys see that sudden boost up I got? The fuck was that shit? It's not that you can't do it. It's that you, do, you either don't actually care or you haven't tried. Anybody can do it. It's not that bad. I got boosted up, man. You know what has to happen in the next couple in the next couple weeks? It did it again! It did it again! It did it again! Did you guys see that? It did it again. What the fuck? God damn, I hate this level so much. This level this level is a great first time in your level and first time you're playing the game, it's fantastic. Uh, but in the speedrun, I just despise this level. I hate a lot of levels. Nah, that's not true. The previous level I really like. I like Snowblind. I like Breakdown. I like Mambo Sun. Those are all fantastic levels. And what's funny is that some of the levels I hated on my first time, like, um, there's that Water Ghost level. I hated that level my first time. And now it's one of my favorite levels to play, even though I'm bad at it. So I don't know. I think that's, that happens with every game you, you speedrun. Okay, I wasn't sure. 
Okay, well, I gotta get past this guy. Why does a bold build die when you hit the block? That's like an SMW thing. Alright, Mr. Bullet Bill, please be kind. Never mind, we're not even gonna get there. <laughs> Can you do that in Mario Maker? Uh, not, it's not the same in Mario Maker. I wonder if Freakin' Oz is still planning on doing a patch for this game. He said he wanted to patch it after he watched me speedrun it. Um. <laughs> What's the story behind the guy with the horse? It's Dudley Do Right. That's that's the extent of the story. <laughs> The Last of Us when? I don't know. I don't have schedules because I don't really plan stuff. Like, Halo Legendary was kind of like... I finished a stream one day and I was like, Hey, you know what? I fucking want to play Halo. <laughs> that was the extent of- that was the extent of my decision-making process for when I played Halo. Oh, I was saying what I need, what needs to happen in a couple weeks. I need to practice some fucking Mario Golf is what I gotta do. I gotta hit the links and get some practice in on some Mario Golf is what I need to do. I'm dead. Woo, not dead. Barely. Flag shot! Finally. <laughs> Bad, 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 bad. I love Halo. I think that the Master Chief Collection is awesome. I think it's, uh, for the games you get on it, you get Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4. It's a pretty fucking good deal. I know, it's gonna be, what, what, it, it's gonna be me, Link Dead, Panga, and I guess we need one more for four player. We need one more for Mario Golf. First try. What's up, Dex? I'm gonna be a, I'm gonna be an MMC for the entire thing. I hear Poo, Poo's paying for food, so I'm gonna I'm gonna eat him on a house and home. Hey, look at that! We got sub fifty, some of best. <laughs> Who do I main in Mario? Golf? I main Donkey Kong with a nine a nine iron. <laughs> that's my that's my main. Yeah, Pooh's the rich one. Uh, this level is probably in in the run is my favorite level. Uh, well, I'm dead though. I think I'm dead. This is my favorite level in the run. Everything everything in this level just works out so nicely. And I didn't really care about this level when I first played the game. I was just like, yeah, whatever. It's just a level. Oh, I should have just done another big bounce. Am I allowed to scream profanities during MMC? I need to know. is uh vital information asking for a friend yeah
<sighs> is Mario Party going to be online? Uh, I think according to everything we've heard about Mario Party, is that Mario Party is going to have online mini games, but no actual uh, board game mode. So in other words, it's going to suck balls. Is Rift World similar to how I would design a level? I think Freakin' Odd and I have similar tastes. Um, but I think our levels come out very different. But I, I love the level design in Rift World. Overall, it's like, uh... It's like a 9 out of 10 for level design for me. Yeah, it does make no sense. I agree. Would I give myself a 10 out of 10? I don't. I can't rate myself. <laughs> I leave that to others. I'm not gonna grade myself or say how awesome my levels are or anything like that. I think that I tend to cleave towards like levels that have more non-stop platforming than freaking ha does and like more like i think freaking ha is a little more stop stop go stop go but i don't think there's anything wrong with that so Okay. Bro, come on. I know one day I'm gonna jump into that muncher. I'm gonna scream. What will Failstream do in the poison shroom forest for Grand Pool 2? I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll work. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a new one. Band. Oh, come on, dude. The piranha plant is clearly above the thing. Uh, you know what? Maybe I should just jump directly to the block. How did I find all the hidden blocks in the level? I think when I first played this level, um, when I first played that level, it was in like the first screen when I noticed that every branch, there was a Kaizo block next to every branch. So I just kind of put two and two together that it was indicated by the branches. So I didn't have a problem with that. So that was That was tight. Barb smart. Yep. I mean, this run is this run is bad, no doubt about it, but at least I'm keeping up. Hey. We're we're consistent in our badness. It isn't like I'm drifting way out of control. I knew it was there. What's up, Fetty? I was trying to activate it, but I got pushed down through the dolphin. Uh, Gordon's Crowbar. Thank you so much for eight months. Appreciate it. Thank you, Gordon's Crowbar. Aw, oh, come on. The level's going good until it wasn't. 
I'm making good progress in the overworld. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty nice. I'm working on a, a level off stream currently. That's a lot of work. Sometimes, sometimes my... God damn it, dude. I'm just gonna- I know I'm gonna die, it's just die. Sometimes my ambition, my ambitions for levels and ideas... Like, it's like, it sounds great on paper, and then, man, when you start making it, it's like, this is gonna take me forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a level no, some, nobody knows anything about, so. Reach for the stars. I mean, I'm putting... I'm definitely not cutting corners now at, like, at this point of the, of the design. So I'm still... I'm not, like, compromising ideas because it takes too much time or something like that, so... Widow's Peak 1 was worth all the effort. <laughs> Hey, say what you want about it, but it's a memorable- people remember that level, right? Have you missed any- oh, you've missed a lot of Overworld, yeah. No, I didn't make this. This was made by freaking Ha. This- I did not make this hack. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I did- I did one boss on stream, Kurosaji. But that was it. I haven't worked on any of the other bosses yet. Uh, thank you, Lucas. Mm, well, I mean... I haven't wanted to bother Kaizo Man. And I've been figuring- I've, I understand a lot of ASM better. So I don't want to like- I don't want- I don't want to be- I don't want to annoy Kaizo Man. I'm afraid of annoying him. So I, I- honestly, like, I ask him questions sometimes about just different stuff, but I haven't asked him to do anything yet, so. I probably- in the end I will ask him to do some stuff, I think, but I just don't want to bother him, you know what I mean? So I'll take a little more time and figure stuff out for myself. But in, in that regard, it's made me a lot better at ASM and stuff, and figuring out how stuff works. I don't want to be- I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> do I know ASM? I don't, but what I do is, I, uh, I get the disassemblies from Super Mario World Central for sprites. And at this point, I have made... I've made many, many sprites completely on my own. And that's not really a spoiler for Grand Pool World 2. Like, Grand Pool World 1 had... Grand Pool World 1 had custom sprites as well. I play nice? Yeah, I'm play, I'm not playing awful. I'm not playing great, but I'm not playing awful, so... This is definitely not a great run. But I'm not playing the worst right now. <sighs> I'm the guy who jumps past the pipe. Well, usually what happens is I don't... I jump instead of holding... Usually I jump to avoid that extending pipe troll. Um, but uh, that time I didn't, so you don't have to. I'm above freshman level in computer science. I mean, I pretty much just... Uh, I pretty much just edit the values and do a little tweaking here and there. Oh, I hate that. I kind of wish the shell was in the middle on like a 1F0 instead of on the muncher. Would I go to GDQ? I would I would love to go to GDQ, but I don't really speedrun stuff like that. And, you know. Speedrunning for me is like an excuse to play a game I really like, so. 
I know, like, it's- I'm not- I'm not, like, the ASM I'm writing, I'm not recoding, like, a Goomba to fire lasers and throw hammers, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just- I- if I'm- but I'm- I might make a Goomba, like, faster or something. That's not hard. Where's my fucking bullet, man? If not too spoiler, will I make have someone make completely new sprites? No, no. Nothing like that's gonna happen. I like when you're playing a Mario game to look at something and know what it is. So there's not gonna suddenly be like, oh, it's a dragon in Super Mario World. You know what I mean? Sounds like a good a Goomba with lasers. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't have the ability to to make a Gundam or anything like that. So, how many times do I play daily? I haven't played I haven't played this game in like two or three days. I've been I've been busy doing other stuff. <laughs> Right, right. Well, you guys get you guys understand what I'm saying, right? Okay. Jump late. All right. Mario Cthulhu hack. Yeah. I could in the next two splits, I could easily be back ahead if I just play well. It's gonna come down to a couple things in this level. Oh my god, I fucking hate that death so much. That happened to me last- that death is the worst, man. That death is the worst. I hate that death. That is the worst death. That happened to me last time, too. And god. Mario was, uh, still rising. Ugh, god. I hate that death so much. It's the mo it's by far the most infuriating language. This is a uh, 18 or older stream. So I'm going to I'm going to continue to curse. Damn it. I'm now I'm just tilted. <laughs> now it's tilt. I was I played God tier and then I fucked up and now I'm tilted. And now I won't play God tier anymore. I'm an adult entertainer playing, playing a children's game. Was PG once for like 17 minutes. I think I might have to be for a whole week soon. Come on, man. Fuck my ass. 
professional skill. Yeah, I mean, I know I know the levels pretty well. It's just putting putting together a run in this game is very difficult. So. Training for MMC. Alright, don't fuck me. Yay! Orb. <laughs> we brought it all the way back. <laughs> Like Prince of Persia. I never played, you know, I think I played Prince of Persia as a kid. I think it was really fucking hard. Movement feels off. I wouldn't be surprised if I died to a stupid thing in this level. I don't know what it is, just feel off kilter. At least I got the midway. <sighs> yeah, all the levels in this game are named after songs. Which one level is the worst in this hack? Uh, the water level, no question. Uh, I, it's it's a great level on your first playthrough because of how different it is, and it really it really tests different mechanics of the water. But in the run, it's just incredibly frustrating for me. Um, second after that would be Cinnamon Girl for sure. Those are the two worst levels for me. Wow, dude, that was fucking close. That was close as dicks. Orb. Worst hack I ever played? Uh, I don't know. What is the worst hack I've ever played? I don't know. I found Kaizo SMB3 to be very annoying. Maker. Kaiser 2, eh, I don't know. Kaiser 2 was definitely rough, but I don't know. 
Dram 2? Oh, uh, no. Dram 2 is a good hack. I don't know if I ever... I, I might replay it someday, but... I just wouldn't say Dram 2 is my favorite. What the hell was that? That was weird. <sighs> Grand Pool World. Everybody, everybody likes their own brand, and the levels in the levels in Grand Pool World I find really fun, but for, for the most part. I wouldn't say they're all equally fun, but they are all fun to me. Twenty. Like smelling your own farts, yeah. Uh, Kaizo Three Bowser is very fun once you once you've done it. Like, I enjoy playing Kaizo Three Bowser now that I've already beaten the game. You know what I mean? No, I bonked, I bonked, I bonked, I bonked. Finally, this level went better than shit. <laughs> Finally, dude. Double gold. Come on! I hate that jump out of the water. I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Oh, dude! Come on! Come on, man. Yeah, some of the best drops.
This is where we throw our time away. The water on the ceiling who designed is MC Escher. <laughs> Well, the good news is that I don't care about this run, so I don't really care what happens to it. It doesn't really matter that I'm like six or seven minutes ahead or whatever. I don't- I don't care. I obviously want to do well and want to PB, but... It's like sometimes you just don't get the jump out of there. It's really weird. It's really strange. Is it going to be a Kaizo Bowser 3 race at MMC? No. Dude, I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing Kaizo 3 Bowser. I might dick around or something, but I would never do a race. I'm, I'm not sure I could. I'm not sure I could sit down and beat Bowser once in 10 hours, let, let alone do a race at an event. Oh, that jump! That jump gets me. I don't really care about the PB. I don't care. This isn't the run I, I want anyway. It's a good, it's it's obviously the, these past levels have gone well, but the beginning was just so bad. So it isn't like, oh, this is like the dream run I wanted, you know? You know what the hardest thing is in a Kaizo game speedrun? Is not dying immediately after you get a midway. Not dying when you get a midway. It's because like you kind of relax because you're like, okay, got the midway. And then you die. <laughs> and then and then you got to calm back down. You got to calm down again. And then you can beat the level. This part right here is the hardest part for me at this point. It's just a little, it's like weirdly tight. Yeah, I haven't done a run for like three days, so. It's probably, honestly, it's probably a really good thing that I decided to, sit, that I decided to do this today. It was like exactly what I, it was, I wanted to do this and I didn't even know it. Bro, just wait one more second. So the next level is where most of my time save is, um, because the next level went really bad in my in my recent PB. Oh, dude! <laughs> uh, Hasmax, thank you for seven months. Appreciate it. Thank you, Hasmax. So whatever extra time I have going into the next level is all gravy. The next level is the hardest in the game, unfortunately, though. Make it! No! Ah, There's a fucking Kaizo block on that jump, and I never have a reference for where it is. I always, like, forget where it is. That was so weird. Okay. Didn't go great. Past two levels I bled out some time, but this is where this is where the, it's going to be a PB or it's the run's going to die, so depending on how this level goes.
Okay, good first half. All comes down to the second half. As it has before and will again. <laughs> yeah, that's a good summary of the second half of the level, by the way. That is a good summary of the second half of this level. Boom shakalaka! <laughs> that, those last three sequences are extremely fucking difficult. They are super fucking hard. It maybe looked easy, but it is fucking hard to do that shit right there. This boss is a lot of RNG. So, we'll see how it goes. Oh, fuck you! That was a good pattern. I fucked it up. Oh, dude, you never want to say you're definitely going to PB, because I could still easily fuck this up. Last level is also really hard. I wasn't going to get a hit there. Dude. Lakitu's going crazy, bro. No! Why was the Lakitu throwing so many spinies? Did you see that shit? Dude, that was so many spinies, man. Fucking calm down, motherfucker. Relax. I know, dude. What the hell was that Lakitu? That was ridiculous. And now I'm getting shit patterns. Great. Great. I know Lakitu went fucking insane, dude. He lost his mind. Wow. I really wanted to get that hit. No! <laughs> Fuck you, man. God, I hate this fight. I hate it. I hate this fight. It's too it's too RNG for me. The most frustrating is when you don't even get a chance. You don't even get a chance to hit Wendy. That's the most frustrating. Come on. I missed. I missed. Yeah, I beat Gracie World. Gracie World was a one-day hack for me. What am I supposed to do? I hate this fight so much. Oh god, man. Please, let me out. Let me out of this fucking fight. I hate this fight. <laughs> the worst.
All right, you want you want to troll me? Go ahead. I don't care. Go ahead. Go ahead and troll me, game. Other side. Whatever. I got all the time in the day. <laughs> I can't, man. I can't. I can't. It's just so aggravating, this fight. It's so aggravating. It's incredibly aggravating. I am this this fight makes me look fucking lose my mind. I hate this fight. This fight was I love this is a, this is one of the things that I loved my first time playing the game. And now that I now that I speedrun this game, this fight is like a fucking ulcer for me. I hate this fight. I'm not even getting opportunities, like, I can only cover so many spots on on where Wendy is going to be. I'm not even getting, like, chances. I maybe could have got that one, but... Oh, thank you. Like, four minutes in this stupid fight, man. Four minutes in this fucking fight. Cinnamon Girl took me less time than this. It's just awful. It's misery. Never want to PB by too much. I mean, I'm sorry to get so salty. Like, I am. I don't want to bitch. But it's just, it's incredibly frustrating. <laughs> I don't want to bitch on stream, but it's just, oh my god, dude. Well, I can't- I can't practice it. I can't practice RNG and getting a better Wendy pattern and getting a Lakitu that isn't going berserk on me. Like, I can't practice that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Bowser time. I have not practiced Bowser. That jump is so hard. I should not have done that one. Bowser has practiced you. Yeah, Bowser's hitbox is awful. It's no secret. You were never supposed to be above Bowser in the game. So but but I don't I don't understand why they made him get that they gave him a massive hitbox though. If anything, you would expect him to have like no hitbox, like SMB3 Bowser, but forget to do that. It isn't quite a square above his head.
It's really difficult to keep a mushroom in this phase. Okay, if I can just remember the patterns I need on the last part, it should be good. I gotta remember to cut it one earlier on the last part. That's GG. I remembered. Almost not GG. Now that's GG. <laughs> Boom! There we go. Uh, I did not expect a 13 minute PB on a run where I was like eight minutes behind and I had like no practice going in. I did not expect that. That is a new world record for Super Rift World 100%. Yeah, almost a major fuck up. That's a big PB too. A lot of things came together. It's really just, I mean, a lot of this PB, all that time, a lot of that time came from Cinnamon Girl, honestly. Sub one is doable. With a lot more work, yeah, it probably would be doable. Is Riffle on speedrun? It is not on speedruns, no. I'm the only person that speedruns this game, so. Woo! Uh, Wave Pusher, thank you for 100 bits. I'm the Dan, thank you for 100 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Oi, see, bitching makes things better. Dude, that Wendy fight drives me nuts. It drives me nuts. Yo, holy fuck. Sarmanikin, holy shit. Congrats on the WR. Sarmanikin, thank you so much for 5,000 bits. Holy shit. Uh, that's insane. And Toolman Taylor, thank you for 100 bits. Holy shit, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Oof. That was a run. Uh, Rhetoric, thank you for 50 bits. Uh, thank you, guys. You guys are fucking awesome. Thank you for watching. Well, I'm glad I decided to play this today. Got a new PB.